Hi, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my weekly basket. I'm super excited that I'm able to get this week's basket up on time for July 14th to 21st. And if you'd like to see what stuff is in this week's basket, please keep on watching. So just in case you like to see to know the order that I'm gonna um talk about in this week's basket, I am going to start with eyes, face, then lips. And lastly skincare so if you're just interested in a particular section you can forward it to that section and I hope you enjoy this video now on to what I'm using this back in this week all right so on to the eyes and primer of choice would be the Ruby Kisses um, eyelid primer really like this stuff I trust it and I definitely would would recommend it for bases I have two pencils here and two jar like cream my shadows I had this last week and I really really loved it I used it a lot and this is the Sephora crayon jumbo 12 hour this is waterproof this color is actually taupe and this is what it looks like quick swatch sorry oops that's it there I don't know if you guys can see it really nice champagne color you put this all over your lid and then just put like a really shimmery eyeshadow blend that was like a matte cut brown in your crease and you kind of like good to go i actually have this other one and it's in khaki and it's like a green color one also and you know i have a weakness to green so i actually um just decided to put this in addition i have these two long lasting eyeshadows from elf that's what it looks like have pictures on my blog with blog no my picture on my Facebook page with them so that's a heavy swatch of that one and this one is called party <clears throat> and this one is called sorry so yeah so that's what it looks like and not flipping you guys okay so that's it for bases and eyeshadow wise i pulled out my eyes lips face it's a pan palette i have a review on this palette so no use really showing you guys it too much because i have a whole review with swatches and stuff or first impression i think maybe it was a first impression on that palette and as usual mascara primer my elf i have four mascaras here of choice for this week i have the falsies from maybelline I have, and it's all four different brands, interestingly. Um, the Cover Girl Flamed Out. I have a review on this. And this is the Wet n Wild Lash Intense Mascara. And this one is the Almay One Coat Dial Up. So, different things. These are more like for volume. And I use these two for defining. So, that's it. Um, pencil liners. I have a couple of these. LA Girl Glide On Gel Glide On Pencils I have here Deep Bronze I have um, Royal Blue I should show you it like this Yeah. Then we have I think this one is Toasted Taupe One of my favorites Another one of my favorite would be The Gypsy Teal um this one is called smoky charcoal have not even used the black as yet and this one is mermaid blue yeah kind of sounds weird i haven't used the black as yet for liquid liners this week i have the elf still going all right and for colored liners i have these two la colors graphics eyeliner um teal this one is called teal and that's a swatch of it there and then we have this one is called navy and that's the one on in the middle there so that's navy and i find with these that i do i they're not totally pigmented i find when i put them on so that sometimes i actually have to put this liquid liner on first and then put a colored one on top of it or really try to kick on these because i find they're not so totally pigmented all right so eyes interface I have my ELF HD Lifting Concealer in Brightening that I use to under eyes and as usual my Ben Nye's Banana Powder that is going strong but yeah these two on the eyes 
um, I told you to check my skincare section, which is at the end of this video for what skincare I'm using. So foundation, I actually have two because one is finishing. This is my CoverGirl 3-in-1 um, Outlast. Yeah, I had to start turning it upside it down to get the product because it's just not that much. I'm afraid that it's going to finish. So as I was saying, I'm afraid that this is going to finish. So I actually have the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. And this is in sand. Um, so I have this also for this week. It's not a bad foundation so far. To set it would be this um, CoverGirl Press. Cover all. Why is it CoverGirl? Wet a while. Cover all pressed powder foundation in medium tan. I am um, here. I've already hit pan. I really, really like this product really really like it bronzer same as last week with my stila bronzer in 02 and highlighter would be this clean color bronzer in luna and um plan to do a review on these very soon so i have all three and for blushes i have three blushes here from jordana and these are what it looks these are what they look like and what i'm actually wearing right now is terracotta now I'm going to do swatches because I plan to do a review on these all together. So this is Terracotta. This one is called Coral Sandy Beach. And then the last one. And this is these are the only three that I do own. I've been trying to get some more. But I need to use up some of my blushes to actually purchase any more blushes. And this one is called Redwood, number 12, which is really, really pigmented. So that's it for face. Alright, I don't know about you guys, but lips are always the best part in weekly baskets to me because I am addicted to makeup, yes, but I just love lip products. So, this week I have, of course I have to put flush from LA Colors. I have a video with swatches, so I'm going to still swatch this quickly for you guys. It's really, really, really gorgeous nude. I love to pair it off with my MAC Bully Bear Pencil. It's still going strong. I mean, it's a really tiny pencil but you can see it's there it just looks really nice together love it I also pull out rosette from Jordana it's like a shimmery kind of um, pinky rose color more pinky maybe a little more more I have to put my Arista raspberry punch in here because I absolutely love this lipstick Next, we actually have three Vivids. Um, Pink Pop, first, this Maybelline, of course, Vivids, in case you don't know. I have a whole, I have a video with lip swatches and hand swatches of these. This is Pink Pop. That's what it looks like. I don't know why I'm doing swatches, but I, I'm just doing swatches, right? And it's Fuchsia Flash, which everyone says is a dupe to candy yum yum. And I actually have a recent day did a haul with um, some NYX lipsticks and they say that this is a dupe and that one of the other lipsticks that I got from NYX, one of the matte lip something, is a dupe so I don't know. I don't own Candy Yum Yum but I can compare these if you want swatches of everything and that kind of stuff. And then one of what I am wearing on my lips is um, Shocking Coral which is this. And this is what it looks like swatched really really gorgeous and this is on my lips but I actually have on my Jordana Superstar lip pencil first and then that so um, if it might look slightly different that's why no 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 I don't have on this one I have on this one this is the Nabi hot pink lip pencil sorry this is what I have on and this is a swatch of that of the pencil as you can see it's gorgeous and it looks really gorgeous paired together so yeah this is very creamy and soft next we have this elf luscious lipstick in ruby slippers and i don't own much of these but i actually like this one i think i'm gonna try and get another this one is super 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 pigmented so when i wear this i don't even wear lipstick or anything and then two glosses i have clinique's tender heart and that's it swatched up there and then I recently hauled this LA Colors Mood Instinctive Lip Gloss. And I think it's only one. But this one says CLG927 Emotional. So I guess they do have different ones. I thought they were all one type. But this one says Emotional. So I don't know if they, what others they have. But this is a swatch of Emotional. I definitely will go back and see um, if there are lots of others. But 
so far it smells really yummy and um this has shimmer to it i don't know if you guys can see up there that's it there. it has slight shimmer to it um i have not used it as yet i just opened it for this video so that's what the tip looks like yeah so yeah and that's it for this week's basket okay so skincare i actually do have almost a full basket of stuff that i'll be using um beauty wise so first would be this up and up bb wise sensitive skin i'm like halfway finished with this but i absolutely love this you would if you watch my videos for like a year plus back you know that this was like one of the only set of wipes that i would use for my face to take off makeup so i'm back to it i love it usually you just have to use one wipe and i'll show you how big these wipes are this is how big the wipe is and it can stretch and all of that so one really does take off all makeup including like waterproof mascara and stuff you just have to rub your lashes with it very gently and they it will come off so for moisturizers i have two two and a half two <laughs> yes yeah, so i'm still working on this juice beauty green apple spf 15 but I also have this um, Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with SPF 15. It's all face types. I recently hauled this. I will link that whole video and I just want to start using it. This is my first Cetaphil product. So I'm excited to try it. I think I had a sample size of something before. It's okay, but I am wearing it now on my face. And I've had on this foundation for... I would say maybe five hours already and I did go shopping, grocery shopping and stuff like that, cook, lunch and all that kind of stuff with it on. So it's not, I find it's not really greasy and all of that. So still trying that out. Why I say half is because I have this Living Source Pomegranate Mattifying Facial Cream. I use this as moisturizer sometimes and as a face primer i have a review that i'm going to do very soon on this so you can stay tuned for that but really like this so that works as a moisturizer and primer kind of all in one and toner is here because i've added it could have finished by now but i actually added some rose water and um some witch hazel and tea tree a couple drops of tea tree oil in it so it technically should be in an empties but it's not because i'm trying to just keep it on until um, months and but it will be in the empties because I keep making little little bits and just adding to here um, Eye cream would be my homemade which is almost finished so um, Most likely in a week or two I will put up the video where you do my homemade eye cream and for the day I use this one from Avon because it has SPF 25 in it and I recently got this I think in a bleach box. This is simple sensitive skin experts revitalizing eye roller so i'm really excited to try it have not tried it at all so it's in this week's basket to try if you're interested in a review like usual leave a comment below um at night i still use my alpha hydroxy i actually have a sample of vitamin c serum do not bring it in this video just because i think i have like one or two uses out of it so yeah but that's it and i use this um on, like every night and my makeup remover right now is this Avon Moisture Effect Hydra um, eye makeup remover. So that's it. Not a lot of you guys know about the Avon stuff. It's It works pretty okay. Not my best. If you're interested, as usual, in a review of any of these items, leave a comment below. So that's it for skincare. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this week's basket. If you want it like usual, I say this all the time. If you want to review any of these items, leave a comment below, inbox me. Check out my Facebook page because I've been sh like written recently updating it. I plan on showing, I know everyone wants to know what I have in my collection, but I'm not going to do a collection video anytime soon. But written recently, I started taking the pictures of all my mascaras that I have I have taken out maybe like half of my collection and I'm gonna upload them as I get time so you can look out to see that any review you want on those you can always leave a comment on my page and I'll also plan to do my blushes like that my lipsticks but the lipstick is like so much but yeah I'm gonna try to maybe like take out pictures of all the things I have and they're gonna be in a new folder I'm gonna call collection and then I'm going to like when I do swatches of any of those things, they're going to swatches um, folders against um, 
my collection stuff just being piled up in whole um, whole items so I'll just leave that for when I really do haul stuff to put out there so I know it's there now or oh, I think they might some of them might be in this and that a little of this and that folder but I plan for collection all the stuff that's you know as I am able to take photos I put it in that that there and also I will be posting um, sales and deals as I find it them at Pennywise Wonderful World or anywhere else you can check out my page also check out my blog because more reviews are going to be done there as against on my page they're just gonna be like short little snippet reviews nothing really that in-depth swatches all those things will be in total in a review on my blog so definitely check out those Instagram Twitter keep those little things I always have those going ever so often so you can check me out on those media site so thank you so much for watching hope this week's basket was enjoyable so until next week's basket take care bye bye